Hello, this is Christian. Welcome to episode three of this PHP Stocks application using PDL. Now, let's go and then uh, modify our code to include some logic for our application. So here is this site. <clears throat> we previously created um, the DB file already to access the database. Uh, we'll, um, we, as you can see, it's already working, right? There's no error. So um, let's go into the code and do some more logic in here. So if you open the index file, now we need to go ahead and put some logic in here. <clears throat> so what should happen when we click those buttons, right? So we're going to have, um, I think, just three functions. Um, yeah, three main functions that we want to do. And so what that means is when we click the, uh, if you go to the link to functions page, right? We click the home page. Uh, there is no uh, parameter pass in the query. Um, string and we if you do the reset then we check for the t reset stocks review okay so in the con index file i can close config now let's close that let's close these for now um well, yeah, i'll leave that open so up here let's do the logic first and i'm just going to go all the way to the left side so i wanted um set a variable up here called uh task okay i will set it to blank uh, that is going to be the test, either, you know, the um, the uh, reset, views, or stocks, okay? Those are the ones. So, right now, if it's blank, if it's blank, then we will show the landing page, which is this right here. And this will be replaced with a variable. Let's replace that with a variable um, called uh, message. Okay, so, we display the message by default if it's no uh, task so I'll put the bear the message here equals to the default message which is that message okay so by default it will display that and then we also want to display a um, a um, um, and then if it's um, yeah well, well we'll we'll go as we uh, we we'll create more variable as we go but the first thing is we need to check for the get right so it's set the get uh, for the t right we use that t if that is set then go ahead and then get the task <clears throat> task will be coming from the get of t okay whatever that is we don't know where it is we can do so we can switch it or you can just use an if block here so we'll just do the if here okay so let's first thing is to say um let's swipe out wipe out uh, the table first this is that means if the task is equal to a reset right if it's a reset they're going to wipe out the database if that's the case um, else if the task is a um, what is a stocks then we're going to load the stocks right so here we'll put um, check what should we have yeah you load load uh, stocks data to db okay i will read the file first but uh, we'll do that else if it's a a, a view then we're going to show the um information on the table so here we'll basically um first thing you do is you you check right check the um if the data is um well no no we're not checking anything we just get get the record so we're going to get the records get all records from the uh, database so you do that very simple you can say something like row i'm doing the easy one first okay as you can see here row equals uh, we have the db object get all records right here we pass in the table and the table is table use uh, not user a table uh stock right we pass that to the uh, function and then when it comes back you can check to see if there's any records or not if there are no records then there's no point of displaying the data right if there is at least one record then we show the data so here we can check to see if um, there is any record so if there is if there is uh, um, data um, then well, if there's, there's no data, right, then um, display a message. <clears throat> so that means we're not going to print the data. 
So here we'll do if the row, well, I should put rows here because it's plural, right? It's common to do that. If the row of the row count, if it's greater than zero, no, I mean it's well equal to zero, right? If it's not. If it goes zero, that means there's no data, no records. So therefore we'll set the message to say something like um, um, what do we say? Uh, no data. Um, <clears throat> yeah, no data. Um, I'm making it a little bit more interesting. Uh, there are no data. Okay. And then we'll set the um, yeah. That's that's all. That's all we do. And else, otherwise, this you don't need to show the table. So we have another variable. Maybe show table is equal to uh, false. Okay. Uh, no, I mean true, right? True. Otherwise, we do have data, so therefore show the table. So that means up here, we're going to have a variable up here, call it show table is equal to false. Okay, so we check the false table on that. So when we do that, then that means down in the body, we can, you know, perform this logic, right? So here we have the error message. So what do we do? Um, we just basically, um, you know, display the messages if there's any message. Um, otherwise, we don't do any, right? So we're going to have an error. Uh, always check that first, right? If the error, we're going to set that. If that is set, that means we do have errors. Otherwise, there's no error. And then we're going to echo a message, um, something like um, a div. I should have had, we can do it differently, but they use the, um, the error message. We'll create a class called error message to make it red and things like that. Um, and then uh, we will do a loop to display all the messages just in case if there are any. And the errors will, errors will be an array, okay? So we'll say for each um, errors as error. Oops. And then we're going to print each of those uh, out. Put an h1 here, and then we'll put a star, and then the error. And then we'll just end that here, where we'll display those out to the uh, place here. So let's go up here and create our errors before I forget. So we up here, we have, well, actually no, we don't have to do that here because when we set it, it could be down here, right? Um, when we do the database connection stuff, we'll, we'll put the errors down there as we go. Um, but for now, that's that part is done. And then show the table, right? We show the table, we check for, what are we checking for? Um, uh, we could, you know, I can just, you know, leave that out. It's still in the same space, so we will put all the way down to the end of this uh, list here. End it down here, okay? And this would be an echo. Echo that out for that landing page. And this will be, let's put a comment here for that show landing page. This will be for the show table. Okay, so how do we show table? Well, we check to see if this, the show table is set. So if show table, if that is true, then go ahead and then uh, show the table, right? Otherwise, then we show the error, or the, the standard message down here. And it's just not landing page, um, whatever the message is. So this could be something else. Uh, show table here. And then we just display the rest of the messages here, like not found, um, or when we delete the database, which is say, you know, it's deleted and things like that, we'll put that message in here, okay? So the table, all we have to do is then, what do we do? We're gonna call a function called, um, maybe um, show stock, um, show stocks, or table, right? Something like that. And then we pass in the rows. Because this rows here, remember we we did we did way up here. If we do have um, some data, then we're gonna we create a variable called rows, and we pass in the rows down to that function. And we don't have to check it because if we get to this point, you know that means the rows has been created. If you mouse over this, it tells you says um, it's probably undefined. Yeah, because we don't know that, right? So it doesn't know that. But once we get to this space, it's already been defined, so we're good here. Otherwise, we'll never run this line of code anyway. Okay, so this is the logic down here. Um, so I think that's pretty good here. And so let's go up here again and see what we need to do.
Now this part here just for reading data, uh, that's fine. And so uh, we need to write a function called show stock data. Okay, so I'm gonna copy this and go to the functions page and write a function. Let me collapse these. So we'll save us some space. I'll put right down here function. Oops. Show stocks. <clears throat> and so this is where we do our table, right? So what it, what it, what it should look like. And um, so what does it look like? Well, I'm going to do a, let's see, a table of five columns. And we'll show each column with a counter. Uh, we're starting from one. And then here, let's build a table first. Um, and then we'll close it back in here again. Okay, so what does the table look like? Uh, well, table, and then T head, and then each of these will be TH. We have the uh, number to counter, right? Duplicate that five times, four times. This is the company name, followed by the symbol, and then the sector, and the price. Uh, price here we'll put here in dollar okay US dollars so we have five fields and then down here we have the T uh, body and then we have a TR here right so this is a deep repeating stuff so TD here one for each um, so this is we do the, uh, the the row so now we go back to the PHP mode um, not PP HP and then we're going to process that. And then, um, yeah, so let, let's let's do this first. So we're going to say, um, we're going to print each row, okay? Each row of data. So we do a for each of rows, okay, as a row. Hmm. I wish you just like, Ah, the dollar sign. All right. So for each row as row, then we're going to put that inside here. And I'll just echo them out, okay? So echo the row, the TR. And then we echo the TD. And then we echo the TR again, the closing TR. Okay, so in here is we'll put the information here. Uh, this will be for the the first one. It'll be the counter, right? So counter. No, if I do this, I have to put um, I have to put the counter. Uh, you know what? Um, yeah, that's fine. So I have the counter, I'm going to have the uh, company symbol, sector, and price. Okay, so this would be the row of the company. And then <clears throat> um, what else do we have? The row of the, oops. Why doesn't it like it? Uh, can I use rough reading? It, it is has to be this way. Um, let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> it's been a long day. Okay, well, it looks like it doesn't like this. So, I mean, you would probably end up using the dot like this, and uh, which is fine, but well. Um, I should have just used the standard um, text. Now what's going on here? Um, oh, these two down here. Let's fix this two. Echo that. We'll combine these two together. And then we're good here. Okay, so that part should be good. And then what else? Have that I open the PHP here. And then I have to close it down here. Take this out. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll clean up this later. Okay, so let's duplicate this a couple times. 
company, the um, symbol, this is the sector, and then the price. Okay, so that's our table. And just again, right click and uh, I can't do here. Okay, well, code reformat. All right, so that is our table. And again, we won't know until we add data to the table, uh, to the database. Uh, we can go and just, you know, do one and see how that looks just to make sure it does work. We can do that. Um, so what else do we need here? When we, for the price, I'm going to format it to use a dollar, um, use like currency. And so you can have something like, uh, you can wrap this with a function uh, called number format. Okay, so you can do something like uh, number format, you pass in the, the, uh, the price information here, and then uh, follow by the decimal number like two places like that. So you format your number with a two, with a um, two decimal place, and then it will have a comma uh, after a thousandth place. If you don't do that, it just look a little bit uh, weird. So let's save that and see if we call that in here. So that's good. Uh, why don't we go to the database and just make one record in there and see. Well, before we see, let's see if this works first. Make sure we have no error, right? So we go view stocks. See, we, uh, we have some error. We couldn't connect um, her stocks, host, local host. Um, okay, do I not have it correct? Or is it, um, let's see, her stocks. Um, yeah, I call it her stocks. And I don't have any data. But let's go and add some data in here first. Oops, not import. Just the insert. Where to go? Let's insert some record record in here. So uh, this one will be just uh, you know A B C and A A A and then sector will be just a news right and price will be one two three point four five. Okay, so we add one record to that. So make sure we access the data. Now let's go back fix it. Why line twenty seven didn't work? Uh, local host for I thought we have that correctly set up guess you never know. So here, no, the config file, db is, yeah, it's called her stocks. Um, hmm. And then inside the class, we just call the host, make the db <coughs> Uh, let's see, we set or well, not. We set the DB, need to be DB, host, host, driver, driver. Okay. Well, let's see if um, something is wrong. Uh, let's check in here. I think it has to do with the connection. Okay, let's see. Um, the driver colon and then name colon. I think right here, this need to be a semicolon. Yeah, I should have not included it in here. I should have put that outside uh, because this is not part of that driver. This is mainly just this part, right? The driver colon, you need to be named that, and then you host will be in a separate one. So I think that's it. Uh, and then we'll, I could have put the host up here when we made the connection, like get the ESN and then host user db pass and so forth well anyways uh, i don't know let's see if that's correct or not right let's go back and try it again okay so here we go yeah actually we did pull some data already as you can see um it's not centered yet but um, we have to style it as you can see it does work uh when i do a view stock right when i do a reset then as you can see there's no data because we did not uh, we didn't show the view the home page will also not show anything because we probably didn't do it something there correctly and then the view stocks does work. So looking good there. So let's go find out why the message was not being displayed. When we click the home, it should show the message here. Um, again, could be a typo somewhere. Let's check it out. Troubleshooting time. So the main, uh, show your message, H1. Uh, oh yeah, it has. it's commented out. It should be right there, but it's commented out. Okay, let's go and check why. And right here, well, yeah, because I, you know, I use it as a comment. 
um, escape those. Take that out and just show the message without the thing there because we're actually echoing that out. So now I should show the message, all right? Uh, it got me before in the previous um, videos too. So there we go. Home page will show us that. Uh, reset will show a different message, something like once we set it, we'll say, you know, data has been wiped out, whatever it is, and then we'll get the stock. We're going to perform a read file, process the data, and then when we view stocks, we either show the table here or we show nothing. So uh, to end this video, I'm going to go and style the table and then we're done. All right. So let's go back in here to the uh, file and go to our CSS. And so we have a table. Um, let's see, what do we what do we do down here? So let's go down here and make some spaces. Put it here for a table. Okay, so um, stocks table, we call it uh, stocks table. I'll give it a class. And we call that in our function. Let's give it a name here. Okay, so the class will be, oops, stocks table. There you go. We call it that. Just make it so that just in case if you ever change it, right? That's what we always want to do. Make sure you always think ahead. <clears throat> so the stock table, we have the margin. I was set to um, zero, top and down, and then left and right, make the auto. So it will be centered, okay? Center on your table. And then we'll add some padding. Um, five, probably that's good. The width of this table will make it so that it's... Um, um, it will maybe like 65%. And then we'll add some border, uh, just very solid black border. And you want the text aligned to be, um, maybe text left. Okay. You don't want to center because the company names and things like that are a little bit weird. And then we want the background color to be, um, I want it black. Okay, black switch has has a nice uh, border around it. So uh, let's see if we go back and just view this real quickly. Did it work? Oh, there it is. Okay, well, uh, almost right. It's black, but then we have to show each row here in white. Um, it has a has a different color. So that's looking good. So let's go and then do the uh, the table head, stocks table to T head. We want that to be. The background color of come on background color um, let's do a uh, dark green yeah dark green and we want the color to be white off white so we can see the text okay so that's the um, head let's do the T body uh, I mean the TH for each column. You want just some padding here, okay? So ten will be will be good. And then the uh, TDs for each uh, column in the body, um, kind of same. So you could just put here um, TD. I will just keep those as as same for each of those. So down here we have. Um, what else? The stock table, uh, T body. Okay, I want those to be uh, uh, um, striped. So we'll put a TR here, the nth child, and we'll put for the odd. The odd child will have a background color. Um, of um, let's do the green, yellow, yellow green. Okay, yellow green. And then we'll do here for the even. Okay, so copy that, put it here, the even. What do we want for the even number uh, color to be? Um, blue, oh, Azure, okay. Well, Azure, Azure looks, I guess, looks looks kind of nice. Kind of like green and blue. I want the green theme, right? <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do here. And then I think that's it for this one. Let's go and check it out. There we go. Um, so it looks good, right? As you can see here, as you can see, it's formatted. And let's go and just make, make one modification here. Let's add another one here. Um, BB and then B, doesn't matter. The price would be, you know, something big like that, okay? So if you go ahead and execute that again, you should have now two records. And then, um, oh, 
it didn't do it. Uh, oh, maybe I didn't save it in here. Let's go try again. Uh, it did save, but you ha have two records. And why I didn't do that? Yeah, I'm not sure why, but um, we'll, we'll check it out. But at least, you know, it should be, um, uh, you know, teal. I mean, this Azure and then goes back to the yellow and then and so on. But um, yeah, I think we're good here. So the next video will fix this next video. And also we'll do the other functions to process the files and insert those data to the database.